Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a frequency table and frequency charts. So frequency is basically how often something occurs. And if we count the frequency, we can basically put together a frequency table and, and frequency charts. So let's say, for example, I have a list of names here that occur more than once, or they reoccur. And I know what those names are, and I just want to count the frequency. In this example, what we can do is create that with a count if function. So the count if function basically it counts how many times it occurs. I'll type in equal count if open parentheses. My range is going to be cell A1 to A21. I'll go ahead and press F4 to lock this range in. You can see the dollar signs are in front of the range for the column and the rows. And what this basically does is when I copy it down to other cells, it doesn't increment it. And I'll show you what, I'll show you what an example of that happens to be. So this is, this is going to be my range, and my criteria is going to be cell C2. The first criteria is going to be Mike. So I'll go ahead and press Control enter to stay within that cell. And Excel is actually pretty smart enough to close the parentheses because it knows that that function has ended. I'll go ahead and double click the fill handle down here. That little black dot is the fill handle and what it's going to do is copy the formula all the way down here. So double click that and copy it down. And so you notice when we go down to Jack, the formula here, the range, excuse me, not the formula, but the range here, it stayed the same, some stayed the same from A1 to A21. But you notice that it incremented from C6 up here was C2 and incremented down here to C6 and that's what I meant when you go ahead and put the dollar signs in front because what happens when you copy copy the formulas down or across it will um, increment it or uh, I don't know if the right word is decremented but it'll it'll go up and down the uh, up and down right to the left the of the cell row or cell columns uh, accordingly so since I copied it down, it went from C2 to C6. So that gives us a frequency table. Now, if I had a lot of names, it would be kind of hard to analyze this. And the nice way to represent this is to represent it visually. So what we can do is we can create a chart out of this. What I can do is go ahead and select that range go up to the insert tab in the ribbon and go ahead and insert a column chart and what it does is it creates a nice little column chart for me I can get rid of that legend select that and press delete uh, go ahead and the grid lines I, I personally don't like the grid lines here so I go ahead and select that and delete and right click this to add data label so it'll add the frequency numbers on the top and you can see here we'll have a nice little graphical display of the frequency, uh, the frequency table. And so we see that John occurs the most here, and uh, Susan and Mike the second, Mary and Jack, of course, they round out the, 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 the later parts of this table. Now that is if I knew the, the, the amount of names that are supposed to be in this range here. What if I didn't know? The other way to do it is with a pivot table. Now go ahead and click to this next tab to show you how to do it with a pivot table. With a pivot table, I can either select the column, or if I didn't have that many rows to select, I can just go ahead and select and drag and stop at that row. I can go into the ribbon under the insert tab and create a pivot table from here. Or I like keyboard shortcuts. Let me cancel this. After I selected my range, I can just type, I press Alt N V T, and that's going to bring up the same create pivot table window. Now I'm going to put this pivot table in the existing worksheet and go ahead and put it into cell C3 here. Click OK, and what it does is it gives me a field list here. I'm just going to drag the name down to the row label so it shows up in the rows and also drag it down to the values. And what it does is since it's text, it's going to count the times it occurs. So now I have my little table here. So you can you notice that it's the exact same thing here, except it's just placed differently. But we have our same frequency values here. 
And with the pivot table, I can create a pivot chart off that. So once I select, if I select outside the table, you'll notice that that context menu disappears. If I select within the table, the pivot table tools context menus appears under the options. Just go to pivot chart and I can select the column chart. Click OK. Now let me go ahead and close this field list here. And drag this over. You'll also notice the pivot chart is a little bit different from the other chart. It has some of the attributes of a pivot chart, which lets you do some sorting and stuff like that. Let's say I didn't want that there. What I can do is I can right click one of those buttons. I can either hide that particular button or hide all the buttons. So I'm just going to hide all the buttons here and do the other cleanup that I did in the previous chart. Select that, delete the legend, select the grid lines, delete that, right click on one of the bars and go ahead and add a data label and we can see our data label there. Basically the same here except it's just that the names are rearranged a little differently here. Uh, they're alphabetical here and here they're just kind of a little bit random. So that's another way to create a frequency table and frequency chart and that's based on text. Let's say I had number values. Let me go under this other example. Number values. I had a list of weights and I want to find the frequency of each of them. So what I can do is use the pivot table here too. I'll go ahead and select my range and press Alt, the Alt key, N, V, T to bring up the Create Pivot Table window. Let's say I want to put it into my existing worksheet and I'll put it into cell C3 like I did before. Click OK and drag the weight down to the row label and drag the weight down to the values. And you notice when you drag number values in there, it's going to sum it. See how it summed it? Previously it counted it because it was text. In pivot tables, if you have numbers, it's going to start first by summing it. But I don't want it to sum it. I wanted to count it. So what you can do is that drop down there, you can select it and go under the value field settings and select count. The other way to get into this window is you can actually just right click here and go under value field settings or actually you can do show values. No, no, summarize, uh, summarize values, pardon me. Summarize values, and you can summarize values as count. And that's what I did. And so you notice that not many of these uh, sh show up more than once, except for these two. Let's say this is kind of unwieldy to chart, and even, even hard to look at when you put it in the table. Let's say I wanted to do this within ranges. Uh, in quarters, maybe 100 to 100. The, my range is 100 to 200, and I want to put this in categories of 25. What I actually can do is group this. So I go ahead and right click here and go to group, or you can also, it also shows up into the uh, options tab and group selection. I can click the group, it'll bring up a group window, and let's say I start at 100 and I want to end at 200. And I want to have a group by values, by, by 25. Click OK, and you notice that it, it's grouped it now. What I can also do is, if I wanted to chart it, since I'm in the pivot tables context menu under options, we can go to pivot chart and also create a column chart. And in, and here you can do some cleanup like I did before, hide all the buttons, remove the legend, click that Oops. Click that and delete it. Uh, remove, move the grid line and then right click here to add the data labels. And we have our data labels for the different buckets that we have here. So there's the quick overview of how to create a frequency table and some frequency charts using the count if function here and also using pivot tables here. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.